So if you've been following uh, my It Follows Me Home videos, you know, not too long ago I picked up a vintage um, Plum Victory Connecticut pattern uh, head. And it's my understanding that the Plum Victory line um, was produced during World War II in order to, um, I guess the branding was kind of done to have a little bit less uh, quality in the surface finish um, to give more effort, uh, more time or resources into the war effort, which is kind of cool because it means you can kind of date some of the, the victory patterns or victory stamps you know, more accurately as far as timeline goes. So it's pretty cool knowing that it's a World War II era head. Um, and in another one of my If I'll Be Home videos, I recently acquired a handle that had a plum, an older plum Michigan pattern. Uh, Head on it and with them both being the same manufacturer this head slips on here almost perfectly with seem to be very little fitting um, and with this being kind of a cool just collectible head I don't really plan on sharpening it up um, or cleaning it up too much um, probably throw a little bit of oil on it and then call it good but it's uh it's not what I'm really gonna do a whole lot of work on just more just a, a collectible piece but with keeping it kind of more rough and rustic looking i think this vintage handle will pair really nicely with it yeah it's a little chipped up um you can kind of see the uh fawn's foot a little beat up there it's got some dings and some stains and stuff like that but i think it'll look cool with that head and it'll be a quick project to just kind of toss them together quick so that's what I'd like to do in kind of a uh, one and done type video rather than a, a multiple part series. So if you're interested in watching me do that, stay tuned. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is clean up the inside of this eye right here. Um, a little bit of rust, a little bit scaly, um, and all, but more importantly, there's a little bit of a lip right in here from where someone down the road hammered on the top of this. So before I do much anything else, I'd like to clean up that mushrooming. So as you can see, it doesn't take very long, but you do want to clean up any burrs that are on the inside of that edge there. Because when your handle's coming through, what you don't want to happen is to start seating it, and all of a sudden it gets to the top, it catches that lip, and then you chip it off or you stop making progress. Um, either or. One of the other things I usually like doing too, probably won't do it on this side because it's already a really nice fit, but chamfering the inside of the eye slightly too. Um, it just helps compress the wood and get a good compression of that handle inside that eye. But with this already being so close, honestly I'm just going to throw it on the handle and see how it looks and probably have to do minimal fitting. So. I haven't done any kind of fitting or anything yet. It's already looking really good. So I'll grab my little leather, uh, leather cup to help save the uh, palm swell as much as I can. Sitting pretty good.
that's about all she wrote for getting seated. Looks pretty good. Some little gaps that I could probably get to close up a little bit more if I sat the head a little further down. Um, but I've already said it a million times. Probably not going to be using this ever. And uh, I'd like to be able to reuse the handle if possible. If I ever wanted to in the future. So you can see I've got my little leather. Uh, a little leather protector on the end there. Just helps when you're setting it on the concrete floor. That pond swells up or pond split, whatever you want to call it. It's already a bit chipped, so I really don't want to chip it any further. Starting to line up good. line is where it fully bottoms out so ideally what I would like to see, and if your opinion differs let me know I'm curious what you guys think I'd like to see that line stop I don't know quarter of an inch above I don't really like to know that the wedge bottoms out in there so I've had issues before where if it bottoms out I'm not sure if it gets good compression if it stops going in before it bottoms out I feel like I know I've got better compression because it's the compression that stopped, stopped the ledge from going further, not, you know, the curve not being deep enough. I'm perfectly okay with that wedge splitting. If half of it drives further down in, okay. If the front half does, that's okay too. Like, it means I'm getting better compression because it split. Well, not because it split, but the splitting allows it to get proper compression. You can get good compression without it splitting too. I didn't jack up the palm swell too much. It actually looks pretty good. It's about the same damage as it was before. I'm going to take my file and see if I can take this 15 off just because I really don't like it. <laughs> you can see that wedge split. But filling out the eye pretty good. Definitely not the best, but like I said, reusing the hang and the, the inside of this eye was not not super even to start. So. so you can see I have cleaned up the or cut off the tongue that was protruding. So clean this up a little bit. See if we can clean up that uh, that marking from the the cellar. If you sell antiques, I would definitely not just mark it like that. <laughs> Put a sticker on it. They're a lot easier to fix.
I could probably go a little deeper and get some more of it out, but I'm happy with that. I think the only last thing to do is uh, clean up the workbench and then throw some oil on it. Just can't beat that that age. Can't fake it either. I mean, I'm I'm also surprised at how well the section that I blended from shaping matches the rest of the handle. We'll see once it kind of dries and soaks the uh, soaks the oil in if it stays kind of well well blended. But what I thought didn't really make a difference. I think it, I think it did, or just kind of me taking that that. Uh, steel wool and kind of burnishing that that edge where I did shape into where I, I hadn't really touched kind of evened it out enough that it all kind of flows but dry handle and soaking it up close for that hang check it out Nice and tight. Well, I'm super happy with how this came out. I'd say it was well worth the uh, the fifteen dollars I paid for the axe, especially since I flipped the head for for about that anyway. So. Yeah, very happy. All right, I'll cut you guys out here because I'll be at this for a while yet, just kind of applying more as it keeps drinking it up. So once I'm all done, I'll come back and get you some get some better close up shots. But yeah, very happy with uh with how much oil it's taken and the color that it took on. So.